Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the acidic nature of aliphatic carboxylic acid. Uh, it is similar to the acidic nature of alcohols, right? As we have already discussed earlier, acidic nature of any acid depends on the stability of its conjugate base. Okay, uh, we will again see what is meant by conjugate base over here. Uh, conjugate base is nothing but if you take any acid, right? The leftover part after releasing of proton is called conjugate base over here. If you take an uh, hydro hydrochloric acid over here, Hydrochloric acid has a stick proton over here. When it releases H plus ion, the remaining negative part which is there here is known as conjugate base of hydrochloric acid. Similarly, we have H2SO4, sulfuric acid. When it releases the proton, acidic proton over there, leftover negative part, whatever it is there, this part is known as the conjugate base of sulfuric acid. Similarly, we have carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid also has acidic proton over here. When it releases its proton, okay, the remaining part, whatever it is there, like carboxylate ion, okay, this particular carboxylate ion is known as the conjugate base of carboxylic acid over here. As we have already mentioned, right, acidic nature of any acid depends on the stability of its conjugate base. Similarly, carboxylic acid is not exceptional one, right, it is also an acid depends on its conjugate base stability, right, that's what here, carboxylic acid, acidic nature depends on what? stability of its conjugate base that is this carboxylate ion yeah we know that carboxylate ion has negative charge right generally plus i group releases electrons when they releases electrons what happens magnitude of charge of the conjugate base increases that's what plus i group generally decreases the stability of conjugate base decreases the stability of conjugate base and minus i group they pull the electrons towards themselves then what happens the charge of the conjugate base decreases if charge decreases, magnitude of charge decreases, stability increases. They will increase the stability of stab respective conjugate bases over there. Then we have already mentioned that as a decreasing nature of any acid depends on the stability of its conjugate base, right? Uh, like plus I groups already decreasing the stability of conjugate base. That's what as a nature of carboxylic acid also with, with plus I group decreases. With minus I group increases. Increases. Yeah. Now let us see some of the examples over here. Now we have an acid. We have an acid. In one acid we have hydrogen over there in formic acid. In another acid we have general alkyl group over there. Okay. Now if we compare the like uh, electron donating nature or plus I order right. Generally R group is donates more electron that comparatively with the hydrogen right. Then what happens here? We have already mentioned that uh, acidic nature of any acid depends on the stability of its conjugate base right. Now R has more capacity to donate the electrons, right? What happens? The magnitude of charge increases. Stability of the respective conjugate base decreases, right? That's what. If you consider the stability of conjugate bases over here, the first one is more greater than that of second one. And the same thing, like acidic nature depends on its conjugate base stability. That's what. The acidic nature is going to be formic acid and then normal carb carboxylic acid. Now, let us see some of the examples over here. Now, in this 5 over here, now we have hydrogen, we have one methyl group, we have methyl group, ethyl group, we have uh, two methyl groups over here and we have three methyl groups over here. All methyl groups are plus I groups, right? As number of plus I groups increases, what happens? The stability of conjugate base decreases because the magnitude of conjugate, magnitude of charge increases, right? That's what the acidic nature is going to be. One is greater than two, three, four and five. Similarly, over here also. In the first one we have only methyl group the second one we have fluoride chlo chlorine and bromine over there these are all minus i groups right we have already mentioned that minus i group generally increases stability if you consider the minus i order right fluorine is greater than chlorine is greater than bromine absolutely that's what the acidic nature is going to be two is greater than three is greater than four is greater than one similarly if you see these examples right these are not ex exceptional one right the same order will be followed over here. NO2 is more minus I group than that of CN, fluorine and OH group over there. The same thing will be followed over here also. That's what the acidic nature is going to be. 1 is greater than, 2 is greater than, 3 is greater than, 4. Now if you see here, right, we have uh, CF3, CCL3, CH3 three times over here and we have fluorine over there. Everywhere we have minus I groups, minus I groups, minus I groups. But here we have plus I groups, right? Plus I group generally decreases the stability of the conjugate base. That's what third one is going to be the least one. And then what do we have to follow? 
Now we have three minus i groups over here, right? In the first case, in the first case we have three. In the second case also we have three. Which is more minus i group comparatively? We know the fluorine one, right? That's what minus i group generally stabilizes the co conjugate base stability, and uh, it increases acidic nature also. That's what the acidic order is going to be one is greater than two. And in the fourth case we have one minus i group. That's what the fourth one and the least one is going to be the third one because it has plus i groups which decreases the stability of conjugate base yeah if you see in this case over here we have uh, like uh, in both the cases we have minus i groups over here but in the first case we have fluorine only one minus i group and in the case of second one we have two minus i groups generally we think that fluorine is more minus i group that's what uh, first one is more acidic than that of second one but that's not the right thing okay but here we have two minus i groups and it's a distant dependent effect what happens these two pulse electrons towards themselves then what happens the magnitude of charge and the conjugate base decreases more comparatively with the first one that's what the second one is more acidic than that of second one now if you see here we have uh, four cases right we know that uh, oxalic acid uh, followed by malic acid we know ohms gap that thing right yeah in in from one to four what is happening is that the ch2 groups are increasing gradually ch2 groups are increasing gradually says what, what what is the nature of ch2 groups they release the electron they are plus i groups right that's what what happens plus i group generally decreases the stability of conjugate base and decreases the acidic nature that is what, what the acidic nature is going to be 1 is greater than 2 is greater than 3 and 4 similarly if you see here uh, the same example similar example have been uh, discussing since the first video uh, here we have a carboxylic acid which is att attached with sp3 hybridized uh, carbon sp2 hybridized carbon and sp hybridized carbon as s character increases what happens the electronegativity of the carbon increases as electronegativity increases what happens the minus i nature increases that's what minus i group generally decre uh, decreases the magnitude of the charge and decreases the stability of conjugate base right that's what the acidic nature is going to be 3 2 and 1 now what about these two right now like generally what we what we know in a successive carboxylic acid right formal formic acid is a more acidic one right generally we think the first one is a more acidic one but in the, in the case of second one right if you consider this part alone right what is happening this part is attached with the minus i group here c double bond o or c double bond oh group over there that's what first one is having only hydrogen but this this part completely is a minus i group that's what the second one is more acidic than that of the first one in this case he here both are same all the conditions are same only thing is that we have hydrogen we have deuterium over there see like when we consider the acidic nature right the one which releases hydrogens or protons really readily in the solvent right that is going to be the more acidic one here the bond strength also, bond strength also plays a major role over here if we consider OD bond strength comparatively more than that of OH bond strength that's what the extension of uh, releasing of uh, proton into the particular solvent is going to be very slow in the case of deuterium comparatively with the first one that's what the first one is more acidic than that of the second one then we have these four again now first one is a normal uh, uh, cyclohexyl uh, carboxylic acid is there methanoic acid is there and uh, we have double bonds in the ring over here right yeah uh, what what is happening here all the carbons are sp3 carbons sp3 carbons but here we have sp2 carbons sp2 carbons sp2 carbons we have already discussed as s character increases electronegativity increases and inductive effect is a distant dependent effect right as it is near like sp2 carbon is near to the carboxylic acid it stabilizes the conjugate base okay it stabilizes means which is the nearest one the second one is the nearest one then third one then fourth one then the in the case of first one there is no sp2 hybridized carbon itself that's what the first one is going to be the least one these are what the stability of uh, conjugate base and acidic nature of carboxylic acids and the remaining things we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching